that's the most difficult thing I've framed yet a dog tag. I've had to exercise all of my framing muscles to even come close to what could be an accurate frame. And um, if this works out, I'm gonna give it to my friend for a Christmas present and would definitely consider adding this as a another new product in the Etsy shop. But I would have to come up with a rig, or excuse me, a jig, a jig slash grid setup to do something like this because that was way too much effort to try to frame it. And I highly doubt it's a 50-50 on this. Okay, I don't know what metal that is. It's whatever uh, X-Tool provides in the sample uh, package. So it's a metal. Which metal? I don't know. I need to Google that real quick to see what they provide you. So I'm doing 50 by 50. Uh, this is the basic logo, Kivatron, beautiful German Shepherd. And let's go ahead and, I have no idea what power you need for it, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. And I'm not sure if this is one of the things you have to take like a Sharpie, a black Sharpie and, and go over. And then the ink from the, the Sharpie will actually become a part of whatever you're engraving. This might be one of those objects. Okay, so now I'm going to do 100 by 10, and I'm going to not even look at it when it's running. So that's 10 mm a second, which is, and I just Googled this, 10 millimeter per second, but I don't understand how that could be right. 10 mm a second, that seems too fast. So 110 speed by 100 power. This is what I use to cut wood or engrave on a 3D printed PLA. And I'm going to start this up and close my eyes. I'm watching it on the on the phone screen actually that's an awesome little that's an awesome hack I can just watch it on the phone screen and not look directly at it Should be finishing up. His light burn just exited. The dog niche would be 
an awesome new niche to get into with all this. People love getting personalized it personalized things for their their dog because usually dogs have well a lot of times they have some incredible names okay so i think i finished yep interesting you know, maybe it needed another pass or two it um did it actually engrave into it maybe a little ironically look at the centering that was almost machine like almost surgical on that and if i I couldn't see with the, the I, X tool has that outer protective orange casing. So I couldn't really see if it had even done anything or else I would have just said, you know what, let me do a, another pass on this because maybe a second pass would have made it nice and, and dark, but that's not, it's not terrible. I can give it as a gift, but I don't know if I can actually put this one up on Etsy.